Hello YouTube. This is a soda and soda time. And this is where I drink a great thing of soda. Right now it's kind of partially over, so I think I might have to fill it up pretty soon. Oh well. Okay, I'm going to talk about the high school years um, that I have not talked about. It's a story that kind of is close to my heart and kind of something I don't think I'll ever forget. And I, even if I want to forget it myself. Okay. Would be in high school. Um, I spent two years in public school and two years in Catholic school. Um, I don't like talking about Catholic school days because a lot of them weren't that great. Um, but I do have good stories um, about Catholic school. I just I forget I forgot them most of them, but until now. I can tell you this one moment. Stay. I thought it was good. And it was one of those days I don't think I'll ever forget. Um, you know I'm from Nebraska. Okay. Um, our cross country team heads up into this um, charter bus. We were so thrilled to finally get a charter bus ride. Um, our whole cross-country team were driving up to Lincoln. And I forgot my money because my dad was on a trip. And um, two wonderful classmates or cross-country member members gave me money from their money, food money, to um, give me lunch and um I was really blessed to have that happen. I mean you if you see somebody like with no one and you're like, okay, you forgot your lunch money. You go hungry the whole day. No. They paid for it. And the funny thing was they did not want return. Um, I don't know if it was their Catholic school teaching or if they were just kind-hearted kids, but that was pretty awesome. Um, I went to York, which if you know that city, it has a bunch of fast food joints um, sticking out um, of the city and we went to Wendy's and I like Wendy's. I love their Frosties. I can remember getting lunch with a friend there and then we had our meet. Um, it was a very beautiful school, all boys school. Um, as a matter of fact, it had ladybugs that bit you. They are big and we all made a joke because like those were the only girls that were at the school. <laughs> um, but I just remember running the track um, cross country. I would have came in last. Yeah, that's just my luck. Me coming in last. I just remember that whole cross country meet being so happy. Um, a little shy. I had a crush that didn't work out. So I was kind of nervous because he was on the cross country team. That's another story that probably I'll never, I don't like talking about. But at that moment, I felt so in love and so happy. I just felt like at that moment, I was on top of the world. I was clown nine. And things didn't work out, but that day... You couldn't tell me, tell me that that 
that it would happen that way, it wouldn't, that things would be end the way they, way they did. Because, is there was a, there's a lot of regrets later on, but this is one day. And my friend, um, Kelsey, I won't say her last name, she's married already, but we went and had I pancakes at IHOP. And it was really just interesting. I got to talk to her and get to know her. I just, it was just one of the most fun days I had at Catholic school. I mean, I've had, I went through hell through those two years. And that day was just one of those days that made me smile. And I was 17. And I could be a 17 year old and not this old lady. And I thought, I just wish my high school year was, high school years are more like that. More relaxed, more, you're 17, you don't have to be worried about growing up and becoming an adult. And... People are kind and caring no matter where you are. No matter what point of your life, there's going to be people that are caring and will give your shirt off your back for them. You. And sometimes in love, things don't work out. And it's not because the two people were bad or anything was wrong with them it was just not time and at 17 <laughs> you care about getting a boyfriend and girlfriend and falling in love and getting married but you're 17 and you meet people that you might just be better off being friends with and you don't need to go crazy over it. Rejection happens to everyone. And that friends go come and go. And the moment changes so quick. And everything changes. You might not have the friends you have today. You might not have the same significant other partner you have right now. And you can't just go back and say, well, everything was so bad. Maybe that's why everything went wrong. You gotta look back at, and, and even if everything was a little bit darker, look for the, look for the lightness of the past because you can't, can't live in darkness. It just never works. So this is a more personal story. Moral of the story is, I'm sure, um, I'm gonna find, if I, if, I, if, um, right now I'm seeing somebody online, maybe it will work out, maybe it won't. But you never know, maybe he, there is a partner out there for me, I just haven't found it. Maybe I already found it. Maybe it had to take this while. And a lot of rejection and a lot of hurt heart to get there. And, um, you gotta realize that the person that rejected you, they're not evil and they don't hate you. It's just, they don't see you that way. And it doesn't mean it's bad. Friendship is good. And it doesn't mean you can, like, have to be nothing and can still be friends but rejection happens to everyone and but and you'll find that special someone and things change so fast so I guess this is my top chat and my cat is sleeping so this is done